and welcome to a, another small video on uh, as a tutorial in uh, Imperium Galactic Survival. I am Nurk and today we're going to talk about cargo. Now there are different kinds of uh, cargo containers in uh, Imperium. Um, but before I'm going to say that, I'm going to explain the little triangle arrow half chevron that's down in my uh, hotbar next to the icons of the stuff I can use. Now, like in my uh, ordinary steel block here, um, if I right click, all the different options, all the different shapes comes up that I can use. Uh, this is very useful when you're building. Um, you can't just build up by blocks. Uh, so I choose the, the the shape that I need. I want rotate it so it fits and put it down with my left click. So that's the the, the little chevron and you can see that uh, this cargo box has one too. Now if you right click it you can see that there are different looks for a container, but that's not all. Um, this one has a volume capacity of 800 KSU, a CPU of 960, and it takes up 20 SU. This one has CPU 1920, and it's 16 KSU in volume capacity. So the different sizes and different impact on these containers. Um, you can see that the hit points are 100, um, except this one, which are 500. Uh, otherwise, they are 100. So it's not, they're not very durable. So if you want them to last, please pick one of these. Um, and hit points are, um, well, let me just demonstrate. We got one of those there. Then we take one of these, and then we're going to take uh, that one. And you can see that hit point here is 100, and it gives poof with one of them. And with this one, oh, I took the wrong one. Damn it. Okay, I just get another. Um, where is it there? Let's just take some stuff here. Right, let's do it again. That one. And it was that one I wanted. And then that one. Just to make sure that you can see the difference. Now, if I take that one apart, it goes poof. If I do that one, 100, poof, that one takes some killing before it goes. So there, there are those um, things to consider when you do that. Um, now, a cargo container can be accessed from everywhere in a grid. You just have to place it down and, um, and you will be able to access it either by pointing at it or going into your control panel under your devices and access it by double clicking it or pressing the other one. Right. Now, this is for ordinary cargo. If you got um, turrets, um, does this one have turrets? I don't think it has. But if you had turrets on to defend and you want them to automatically collect the ammunition you have on your base, then you should have a ammunition controller. Now, there is no chevron in this one, so it's only this way, um, or this type. Um, hit points 25, don't put it near anything that, uh, well, keep it out of the way, is another way. Uh, if you put your ammo in there, they will be automatically transferred up to your, or out to, or down to, into whatever, uh, your turrets. And this goes wherever you are, whether this is a base or CV, SV, or A3. 
Now, a different beast, not altogether, but a different beast is um, the container controller. Now, we have a container controller here, which is a completely, um, it's like that one over there. It's an ordinary container. Um, if I take over here, take this one, this is for ammo. So this one has, um, oh, I can't zoom in. This one has a capacity of 14,000. This one has by itself a capacity of 8,000. But what's important here is that you have container extensions. And when you put that down, all of a sudden you got doubled as much. And let me just. Well, nope, come on. And that one, and that one. And it all of a sudden has 32,000. This goes up to 10 times this amount, 320,000. Um, so what you have to be careful is, uh, you can't just put, well you can, but it does not show up here, because it's not connected to a, um, it is not connected to a uh, controller. An extension by itself is just a waste of time. You can just use it as a steel plate. Um, but as a steel plate has uh, hit points that are very high, this is a very inefficient way of, of using that. Um, what you need to do is you need to put your container extensions connected or adjacent to one. Um, 24,000. Just be careful not to do... You can't even do that. <laughs> you could that at one point. Um, so let me see if I can take that one over there. And No, you can't even do that anymore. Um, at some point you could uh, put these next to each other but controlled by different uh, container controls and that went haywire. Uh, really really bad really bad so if you need a lot of storage cargo containers uh, oh sorry the container controllers are the way to go these are by the way while these are colorable um, you can color this in, in in the different colors you want, but you can't change. I don't think so. You can't change the. Um, you can change the skin or the textures of it. Um, this one. You can actually color, but you can't text uh, skin it either. Uh, text skin it. What do you call it? Oh, whatever. Whatever. Now container controllers are colorable but not uh, changing the skins now this however you do change the texture on it so and I just want to show you something if uh, you can choose to take the whole block. And let me just show you here. It'll take the whole block instead of just the one side. Um, I find it very, very handy that you can choose different textures uh, on the different sides. That gives you a whole lot of decorating uh, options. So, well, okay, the color tool just sneaked away in there. All right, so that was it. My name is Nurk, and thank you for watching.